Many different organizations across Central Texas had events and ceremonies to remember those who lost their lives on this day in 2001. Fox 44's Mally Jones went to the fourth annual stair climb to recognize the first responders who sacrificed themselves to save others. On this day, 21 years ago, first responders climbed up over 2,000 steps. And today, people are climbing up Jacob's Ladder to get a small glimpse of what that was like. The physical challenges these climbers feel while doing the stair climb is just a small reminder of how first responders felt going up the stairs and the towers. There is some discomfort to it. Uh, and you know that discomfort, as you, you can imagine, uh, what those firefighters uh, felt as they were going up those 2,000 steps into the unknown, into smoke and fire. Pat O'Connor emphasized how important it is for everyone to take time to remember the sacrifices given on 9/11. I think that we should honor the people who have given for us and those who are first responders throughout their lives. Give some of them give their whole life. Our veterans have given us. Uh, country that we can live in and have the freedoms that we have and we need to honor both of them and that's why I come out here. This is the second year O'Connor has climbed Jacob's Ladder and this year he even recruited family members from out of town to come to Waco for the stair climb. Well, I think we all need to take time to reflect on those things that we've been blessed with. He says beyond today it's important to think of our first responders and veterans and what they do for us. Our first responders and our veterans are two groups that I feel as a community we um, forget about them until it's an emergency and then we think that they should be there for us and we should think about them more than just when we need them. The Heart of Texas Detachment 975 Marine Corps League plans to host the stair climb again next year for a fifth time. Our first responders that do report to fire to, to uh, the police and the uh, EMT people, you know, they put themselves in danger every day. We should recognize, you know, what it was that they, what they went through. This is just one of the many events in Central Texas today remembering 9-11. In Waco, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News.